All right, Malthy, good to see you. Do you know that we've done a lot of video visits now? I've been so Express happy Care? about that. It's been very exciting. But I have to tell you, um, a lot of us are very concerned that when we're doing a video visit, we're not going to have the same connection with a patient that we would if they were here in person, and that we're not going to be able to do the kind of physical examination that's really going to let us make good decisions. Yeah, you're completely right. Even though patients love it because they don't have to take time off work, they don't have to look for child care, elder care, yeah. they don't have to drive to the office, but sometimes it's kind of hard to hear them because the connection is bad, they're driving when yeah. they're doing the video visits, they're not in a private space and the lighting is bad. Yeah, you know, and I think you're right. I think our patients are very capable and um, I think that if we were to instruct them properly, they would be able to participate with us in a physical examination. So um, if it's okay with you, I'd love to share some tips that I've learned along the way, and I know that you've learned along the way, for the provider-directed patient self-exam. Yeah, I think that's a great yeah. idea. Okay. Let's see. Um, the most common reasons why patients come to the doctor, I think mm -hmm. uh, you or I. Um, maybe low back pain? And shoulder pain. So Sounds great. Let's do that. Let's do it. So as we begin this video visit, a couple of pointers to make sure that you're really able to connect with the patient the way you would in real life. The first one is don't look down at the person's picture. If you can, put the picture right underneath your camera. Um, but look directly into the lens itself. So that way it looks like you're making eye contact with the patient. So Maya's here for an upper respiratory tract infection, as we talked about, and um, uh, we're going to just skip right to the physical examination. So Maya, welcome to Stanford Video Visits. Thank you so much for seeing me today. It's really great to see you. Um, I wish we could see you in person, but I understand that uh, uh, this is going to be more convenient for you given work and everything else that's going on. Yes, definitely. Great. So. Um, what I'm doing first is I'm noticing her environment, her breathing, whether or not she's able to take a, a complete a full sentence uh, without interruption, and then also noticing if she's coughing and what's in her environment. We're looking for anything that could be distracting, anything that could be um, uh, difficult for her uh, in terms of her room setup, and uh, whether or not she's diaphoretic, and uh, if she's looking comfortable or if she's in, in distress. And right now she looks terrific. So, um, Maya, what I'd like to do is I noticed that your right eye is a little bit red. If you could, what I'd like you to do is come directly to the camera so I can see your right eye, please. Okay. So it does look a little red. Um, I'd like you to do a couple of maneuvers for me. The first is I'd like you to keep that close, please. Mm -hmm. And uh, look all the way to the right. Look all the way to the left. Okay, very good. Look all the way up and look all the way down. Thank you so much. And if you could recenter a little bit more on your right eye, that would be great. Okay, very nice. Um, I can see that quite well. And um, I'd like you now, your eyelid also looks a bit swollen. If you could go wash your hands for 20 seconds, come back, uh, please bring a tissue. Okay, so 20 seconds have now elapsed. Um, Maya, I'm gonna have you take your clean hand with, your, um, uh, with one finger and your non-dominant hand, and then gently touch your left eye the top upper eyelid so you can see what it feels like. That's a normal eye. The left looks terrific, okay? Just in terms of gentle pressure, right at the lash line, because that's where I'm seeing most of your swelling. Okay, very good. Now this hand is pretty clean. If you can just wipe it with your tissue, and then let's examine the eyelid on the right that looks so swollen, okay? Very nice. Uh, does that feel any different to you? No, not really. It doesn't feel different? You're not feeling any uh, warmth or lumps or bumps or anything and there's no pain? No. Okay, great. Uh, let's uh, examine your mouth if that's okay. Uh, if you can, why don't you bring the phone very close to your mouth and mm -hmm. raise your uh, mouth up and say, ah. Uh. Ah. Uh. Okay, very good. Actually, you are quite in focus. Do that one more time. Don't fog up your lens this time. Excellent. Good. Okay, thank you. Um, and uh, so I could get a very good look in actually just with the natural light in the room. Uh, next, Maya, I'd like you to take uh, three fingers and then uh, put them at the base of your neck and then lightly with circles, the same way I'm doing right now, just feel underneath your tonsils and see if those lymph nodes are large. I'd like you to start bringing down uh, the, um, your hands all the way to your collarbone. We're looking for any lymph nodes that might be large or tender or really painful. 
Uh, anything there? No, I don't feel anything. Okay, good. And it feels symmetric on both sides? Mm -hmm. It does. Okay. Are you able to swallow okay? Can you swallow for me? Yes. Okay. No problems. Just there. swallow one time, please. Okay, it looks very normal. And if you can, I'd like you to um, pull your camera a little bit further out. I'm going to uh, watch you as you breathe. Take one slow, deep breath in, and then exhale slowly. Very nice. And now take a deep breath in, and exhale hard. <sighs> like that. Very nice. Terrific. And that concludes our URI exam. Low back pain is one of the most common reasons that patients come to see their doctor. Using the video visit format, you can very easily have a patient do the core elements of a physical examination to help inform your decision making. In this case, Maya is here to see me because she has pretty bad low back pain, so we're going to find out a little bit more about it, cutting directly to the physical examination. Maya, uh, welcome back to uh, Stanford Video Visits. Yeah, thank you. Good I'm, to see you again. Yeah, I'm really sorry about your back pain. Yeah. Um, so can you show me where it's hurting you? Uh, let me put my phone down so I can okay. see you better. You can see it better. That sounds great. All right. Can you see me? I can. All right. It hurts right about here. Okay. So I appreciate the fact that you're sitting down. Um, with your back pain, are you able to stand up? I think so. Okay. Can you yeah. turn around perhaps and show me exactly where it's hurting on your back? Right here. Right here? Okay, that's great. That's yeah. very helpful. Oh, a little lower maybe. Right little there. lower? Yeah. Okay, good. That's the area that hurts? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to do a little bit of palpation. Are you able to reach your arm behind your back? Yeah, I think I should be able to do great. that. Great. Okay, so if you can, I'm going to have you turn your back towards the phone. Very good, okay. And I want you to start right in the middle, right kind of underneath where your uh, hand is. Just go right to the spine, perfect, okay. And I want you to pa just push all the way down your spine until you hit your tailbone. Uh-huh. Okay, does it hurt anywhere there in the middle? No, there's no pain. Okay, good, let's go to either side. Let's pa have you press down on the right side. Yeah, that hurts a bit. Right there, okay. Yeah. Okay, uh, that's helpful. So, can you go down a little bit further all the way to your pelvis? Yeah, that's okay. Okay, all that's Towards area? Right there. Okay, great. And let's try the other side too. You can use your other hand if that would be easier oh, for you. Great. And I'm yeah. going to have you push all that's the way fine. down. Okay. Okay, well, I'm glad that you're not having any pain lower down. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit difficult to do via vi a video visit. We're going to start off with a couple maneuvers. The first is I'm going to see how much range of motion you have in your back, okay? Uh -huh. Could you turn so that your side is facing the phone? Terrific, okay. I'd like you to um, uh, put your hands at your waist and then just bend down from your hips all the way down until you can almost touch your toes. Stiff. It's a little stiff, okay, yeah. okay. You're doing great, okay. That's as much as you can do? Yeah. Okay, good. So stand up, don't hurt yourself, please. Take one step forward. Very good, okay. I'd like you to put your hands on your hips again. And if you could, I'm going to have you just lean backwards. Mm. Okay. Is that as much yeah, as you can do? Yeah, hurts in the same right area. There? Okay, good. So don't um, uh, hurt yourself again. Okay, uh, turn to face me. Great. And we're going to have you just bend side to side, so drop one shoulder down all the way. Very good. That's your, okay. okay. And how about the other side? Yeah, that's fine okay. too. Great. Bring your arms up. Good. And I want you to keep your hips stable, don't move them, and then just rotate side to side. Okay, very good. That's terrific. Really appreciate that. Okay, um, so now we're going to test your sensation just in three of the spinal dermatomes, L4, okay. L5, and S1. Okay, so um, can I see your foot? Can you take your shoe off and I can uh, take a look at your foot? Can I sit down for that again? Oh, of course. Yeah, oh, please. Thank you. All I right. don't need you to um, be hopping up uh, <laughs> on one foot. Okay, I'll put my Especially foot right here. Pain. Okay, can great. Can you see it? Uh, I can uh, see it pretty well now, okay? okay. So um, I want you first to feel the inside portion. Uh, I'll bring my foot up too, okay? Uh, if you can, bring the inside portion of your, um, uh, of your heel, of, excuse me, of your instep, okay? How does that feel? Does that feel normal? Yeah, that feels fine. Okay. And then I'm going to have you feel right between the web of your first and second toe, okay? That's L5. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to have you feel the outer portion of your and that's uh, fine the, too. That also feels okay, the uh -huh. outer portion of your foot. Terrific. Okay, so the sensation in your foot is 
uh, fine, and it sounds like the sensation in the other foot is also fine, which is good. Mm -hmm. And uh, let's test strength. I'm going to test uh, functional strength first with a get up and go test. So uh, stand up and cross your hands. Perfect. Good. All right. Very nice. Okay. And then I'm going to have you take uh, three steps for me um, uh, towards me, and then three steps uh, to the side, away from me. So I can see you fully as you're walking. Okay, and then turn around. Okay, very good. Okay, Maya, we're gonna test the strength in your legs. And uh, we're gonna test just L4, L5, and S1. And um, uh, cross your arms in front of you again. Okay, good. I want you to squat down and then stand up. Perfect, That's uh, L4 is intact. If you could now please uh, walk on your heels. Okay, very good. That's L5 intact. And now if you could stand on your tiptoes and then just walk towards me three steps. Perfect. S1 looks terrific. And that concludes the back exam. All right. Malathi is here because she has shoulder pain. Hi, Malathi. Good to see you. Hey, it's great to see you. Dr. I'm Otandi, thank so you for sorry seeing me you today. Your shoulder. I know. All right, let's do an exam. And actually, I can do a pretty good shoulder exam through the video, but I need to help with that. Okay? okay. So the first thing is, which shoulder is it actually? It's my uh, right shoulder. Would you mind taking off your jacket so I can okay. take a look at both shoulders sure. and compare them? Yeah. Uh, do you, I, oh, I should yeah, probably can you put prop the it up. Phone? Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Great, thank you so much. And what I'm looking for here is a symmetry. So if one shoulder looks bigger than the other, any swelling, any redness, any rashes, any bruising, but that looks all really good. All right, now I would like you to do what I do. We're going to ch test your range of motion. Okay. So you can actually do that sitting down, and I just want you to lift the arms all the way up and tell me if that hurts at all. Uh, you know, it hurts a little bit right over here. Okay. All right, don't do anything that hurts too much, okay? okay. I would like you to lift your arms up this way. All the way up this way, like mm -hmm. this. Is that okay? Yeah. Great. Cross your arms over your chest, like this. Great. Does that hurt at all? You know, it really feels very pulley okay. right in that same area. All right, and then I would like you to put your pants behind your back. Can you see what I'm doing? Uh, no. Great. Uh, uh, like, oh, that? like that? Like this? So, uh -huh. um, do you like this? And lift it up, yes. Perfect, and then feel Great, that looks wonderful. Okay. And then also put your hands like something itches you right here. Okay, so like I'm itching my upper back? Yeah, like, yeah, there you like go. Like this? That's perfect. Okay. So that all looks really good. Okay. So you have good range of motion, I'm glad. I'm sorry it hurts a little bit. Now we are going to actually examine you for specific reasons for this pain. Mm -hmm. And one of the most common reasons is called impingement. Mm -hmm. And that means that the tendons that move the shoulder that have to cross underneath the bone get squeezed. And what we want to do with these tests is squeeze them some more. Oh. So what I would like you to do again is tell me where exactly it hurts when you raise your arms up. This is called sure. a painful arc. Okay. Okay. Do All that right. again. It's kind of right around here to yeah. right around here. Yeah, I mean, I can get okay. it all the way up, but yeah. Good, so that's a positive test right there. Mm -hmm. And then another maneuver is, I want you to watch what I do. I want you to lift your arm out to the side. Okay. And then put your hand down. So it's a nice so 90 a degree angle. And I'm, so am, I, am I like over. this or I'm down? Ah, there, that's down? perfect. Okay. And then I want to just have you try to push your hand backwards. Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's right there, right there. So that's called a Hawkins test, and that's also positive. That tells me that those tendons are really irritated. Okay. The last one is called a near test. What I want you to do is put your other hand across and push down on the shoulder. There P push, you go. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm pushing just backwards, keep, or what you're am I pushing? pushing on, on top of the shoulder. P okay, just put what, it on. So there you go. Okay. And, and what, I want what, you to... Put okay. your hand down, your finger down, your thumb. Okay, so bring like my... Like you're giving a thumbs down. Like, like kind of like this or... Um, Just look at me. Okay. See what I'm doing. Oh, Put I your see. thumb okay. down. Thumb Great. down. And now push with the hand on the shoulder and then try to raise your, shoulder, your arm up. Does that hurt at all? Oh, right there. Oh, okay. right there. All right. Good. So it, it seems to me that your tendons are a bit inflamed. Let's see if there's any weakness. Okay. So what I would like you to do is I want you to pretend like you have two bottles of soda and just pour them out. So um, two bottles of soda and pour them out. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
Good. And that then can really you raise it. it up a little bit to see if there's any weakness? Oof. No, but it hurts. Yeah. So no weakness. Yeah. That's a good sign. Okay. Okay. The next thing what I want you to do is, and I'm standing up so you can see me, okay. put your elbows to your side. So, and just so should I stand up? Push your arms out like that. Like this? Good. And then hold it there. Okay. And you're all good. Am I I'm doing it okay? You are doing it great, okay. and there's no weakness. That's wonderful news. Great. And the last thing is I want you to put your hands behind your back like you did before, and uh, then just lift them out. So like this? And lift them out. Then lift yes, them Yes, there you go. OK, great. And you're doing great. Great. All right, I think your shoulder pain is most likely due to some irritation, and physical therapy should help a lot. Thank you so much, Dr. Of course, always good to see you.